Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video we are going to do the detailed review of the Lenovo K8 Plus. So Lenovo announced the K8 Plus uh, as a successor of the K8, K6 Power which was announced uh, last year. So the K6 Power was really a popular device with a massive 4000 mAh battery. Now we have the Lenovo K8 Plus uh, with uh, a similar 4000 mAh battery and really good specifications for this price segment. So we have two variants, the 3 GB RAM variant and the 4 GB RAM variant. And uh, uh, right now we are testing the 4 GB RAM variant. So the Lenovo K8 Plus comes with a 5.2 inch Full HD display, it's powered by the Helio P25 Octa-Core chipset. Again it has 32GB storage, there is a dual camera setup, we have a 13 and 5 megapixel dual camera, fingerprint sensor, dual tone, dual LED flash and an 8 megapixel front facing camera along with a 4000 mAh battery. So that was the specifications aspect, so now let's go straight into the detailed aspects and see how good the device is for this price point. So first step, let's have a look at the design and build quality. So design wise, you can see that the Lenovo K8 Plus is exactly the same looks as uh, that of the Lenovo K8 Node, more or less similar in terms of the design aspect. We have uh, the typical design what we are seeing on the Redmi Note 4 and few other devices. So nothing outstanding in terms of the design aspects. It looks uh, pretty similar. We have the dual camera setup uh, on the rear panel and uh, we have dual tone, dual LED flash, the fingerprint scanner, the Lenovo branding. Up top, we have the 3.5mm audio jack. Bottom panel houses the uh, micro USB charging slot, the speaker unit and uh, on the right side we have the power and volume keys on the left side we have the sim tray and we also have a dedicated music uh, button which uh, which can be also configured so we'll talk about that later so that is the design aspect and on the front panel we have this uh, 5.2 inch full hd display uh, the front 8 megapixel camera led flash and uh, the three capacity touch buttons but unfortunately the capacity touch buttons are not backlit so that's the design aspect. So overall, it's a well-built phone, but it's slightly on the bulkier side. The thickness and the weight looks slightly more. But being a 5.2-inch device, it's pretty compact in hands, and uh, it, you can use it one, with one hand. So that was the design aspect. Now talking about the build quality, the, uh, the build quality looks pretty good. It's a metal unibody construction, and uh, feels uh, pretty premium as well for this price segment. Now next step, let's talk about the display. So this phone comes with a 5.2 inches full HD display and this is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass and we have a 2.5D glass on top of this. So overall looking at the display, uh, the display quality looks pretty good. It's a crisp and vibrant display and colors are also pretty good on the display. The touch response is again very smooth and since it has uh, Corning Gorilla Glass, one of the few devices supporting Gorilla Glass in this price segment. So overall the display definitely feels good on the uh, Lenovo K8 Plus. The next step, let's talk about the software. So moving uh, from the uh, the Lenovo Vibe UI uh, to the stock Android, uh, Lenovo has uh, uh, done a good job here. Uh, we have seen this uh, UI on the Lenovo K8 Note as well. So Lenovo has ditched uh, uh, the Vibe UI and uh, now we have the stock Android. So it's exactly the stock Android, no changes whatsoever. And uh, uh, you can see uh, no additional apps or tools included in this UI. It's a plain and uh, basic uh, stock Android and you can see the notification center and quick toggles are exactly the same. Uh, there are no third party apps installed other than a couple of Microsoft apps uh, installed. There, there are no additional apps installed. So that was software aspect. So overall it feels quite good. It's a responsive UI and uh, most of the people who like uh, a stock Android will not be disappointed with this UI. So unlike the Vibe UI, there are no additional options for customizations. Now let's talk about the performance. So this is phone is powered by the Helio P25 Octa-Core chipset. So the Helio P25 is a 8-core uh, Cortex A53 chipset uh, which is uh, uh, made from a uh, 16 nm manufacturing process and it is coupled with a uh, 4 GB RAM. So we have the 4 GB RAM variant. There is also a 3 GB RAM variant. So only the uh, RAM changes except uh, that everything else remains the same. And here we have uh, really good performance altogether, no lags whatsoever and it's pretty responsive to all tasks. Now talking about the gaming experience as well, it was pretty good all round, no major heating issues on this device and overall we played uh, high graphic rich games and it was quite responsive uh, gaming experience, no lags whatsoever and uh, uh, the only downside was it's a smaller display uh, like the K uh, unlike the K8 Note which had a 5.5 inch display, this is just a 5.2 inch display. So other than that, the performance looked uh, pretty good, no major lags or issues and it's quite responsive to almost all tasks it, it was thrown at. So that is the performance aspect. Now this phone comes with dual SIM cards, 4G LTE and VoLTE support and uh, you get a 32GB storage and there is an SD card expansion slot as well. 
now uh, the the phone also comes with dolby atmos support so you can uh, uh, enable the dolby atmos from uh, the app so dolby atmos uh, makes the music performance the speaker performance uh, which is located at the bottom panel really good so if you're a person uh, who loves listening to music and watching mute videos then this phone definitely is one of the good devices to buy it's pretty loud the speakers are pretty loud and uh, clear as well and for a phone in this price segment this is a really good performance from speakers and there is also dedicated music key available you can also customize this key uh, from the settings if you go to the settings panel you can uh, see the there is a customization option for music key and uh, you can see you can uh, customize for double click and triple click as well so that's additional option available on this device now the call quality on this device was pretty good it also supports 4g lte and also volte out of the box so you can use this with geo sim cards so now let's have a look at the fingerprint scanner experience on this device so this is located on the rear panel and it does a good job altogether in unlocking the device it's pretty accurate not the fastest out there but it does a good job altogether in unlocking the device so that is the fingerprint scanner experience on the lenovo k8 plus now next step the cameras so this phone comes with the dual camera setup very similar to what we have seen on the Lenovo K8 Note. So this is yet another dual camera smartphone. So you can see this is the dual camera setup. We have a 13 megapixel primary camera and 5 megapixel secondary camera for depth sensing. And we also have a dual tone dual LED flash. Now there is a depth mode uh, here. You can see depth enabled mode which can capture portrait images with the background defocus. So now looking at the camera sample taken with this device, you could see that uh, the daylight captures is pretty good. Uh, good uh, uh, colors and uh, decent clarity altogether. It's not as good as the Lenovo K8 Note, but definitely good for a phone in this price segment. So overall, the daylight captures was pretty impressive and uh, did a good job altogether considering the price segment. But it may not be as good as the Honor 6X in terms of the uh, overall clarity of the photos. Now the low light experience was not that good. It was kind of average, and uh, uh, there was some noise in the uh, low light captures. And uh, but overall, considering the price segment, it did a decent job altogether. Now the bokeh mode or the depth enabled mode was uh, more or less inaccurate and was not uh, really great uh, but the portrait images turned out to be just average and uh, uh, this mode definitely needs some more work uh, to be met better. Now uh, other than that uh, the video recording was again uh, decent altogether. The selfie experience was pretty good. Uh, uh, the 8 megapixel camera selfie camera did a decent job altogether considering that uh, uh, most of the users are now focused on selfies. So that's the camera aspect. So we have also done a detailed video on the camera uh, performance of this device. You can also check out that video to get a more idea on the camera performance. Now next step uh, and the final aspect, the battery performance. So this phone comes with a 4000 mAh sealed battery and the battery performance was pretty good on this device. With a moderate usage, we could easily get through one and a half days of usage with uh, uh, the um, uh, Lenovo K8 Plus. So most of the users will get uh, more than a uh, day of usage uh, uh, with uh, the 4000 mAh battery. So battery will not be an issue and uh, the overall battery performance looks pretty good on this device. So price at uh, uh, 10999, how good is the Lenovo K8 Plus for the price segment? So we would say Lenovo K8 Plus is a good overall package uh, uh, with a good display, uh, decent dis dis build quality, uh, stock Android experience, good performance, good gaming abilities, then uh, excellent music abilities and good battery performance and uh, above average camera. But there are some minor issues like uh, lack of uh, notification LED is one uh, downside of this device and also the depth enabled mode was not really consistent and uh, needed some uh, more tweaking and uh, uh, minor issues uh, here and there. But uh, other than that, uh, this device looks like a really good package uh, for 10 line. So that was a detailed review of uh, the Lenovo K8 Plus. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.